Yeah. It's just funny, what can I say? But it's just, it still sort of gets to me like the... Uh, just the, the style of the graphics of this game. I mean, this level itself um, has sort of kept to, of course, its own style. Uh, which isn't strange because it's it's I mean it is just one area of course and one designed by one sort of populace I guess sort of yeah. one people mm. and uh, but still it it shows some great like every area sort of does does feel like it's giving me a bit more about it it's yeah. it's not it's not a repeat of uh, any uh, and you know that there's some nice artwork. It's sort of yeah, I was gonna say mm, it's beautiful actually. Yeah, and it, it sort of feels like like you are sort of exploring a nicely abandoned, uh, uh, you know, old structure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the way that they designed it, it it really feels as though it it feels as though they took a place from real life and tur like put it into a video game, like that type of thing. Like it's not. Yeah. Uh, like done in a fake way like it really feels as though this and some little it's, it, some little details like this which always mm. get you in the mood as well skeleton oh, yeah, and the course. spikes yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that, that, that was sort of a theme about tomb raider as well i think the spikes in the tombs where you could yeah. fall into uh, okay i presume by we you refer to me yeah I presume by we you refer to me. You will pass unnoticed. How convenient. How convenient. She can't say anything without being sarcastic. Yeah, that kind of gets. Uh, I guess it, it's kind of one dimensional writing, to be yes, honest. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah the story has, hasn't ever really been the, the focal point of uh, Tomb Raider, at least not for me. It uh, it's definitely the level design and the general atmosphere that uh, the developers have set, which I mean the personality um, mostly shines through, not the dialogue per se, but the design and the elements of you know like every th little thing like ev like the position of that uh, skull like ev every little camera change every little. Uh, yeah, every little area and nook of it feels like it's been created by just y you know by this by these few guys who were definitely you know into what they were doing. Yeah, exactly. And I think that sort of that's where the uh, the the atmosphere and the and even the story sh sort of shines through it uh, instead of having to focus on dialogue writing. Yeah. Uh, that much. Yeah. Exactly. And this is sort of their throw, really a throwaway uh, uh, sort of background thing on how she got her sort of iconic um, backpack that that she's always got on in uh, in the later games. I guess huh. you probably don't know much about that either. But no, I, I I knew about that kind of, but well, now I know that she stole it from a dead person. That that's kind of <laughs> that she, wow. she 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 just ripped his arm off. So yeah, she 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 really wasn't anything like the uh, overly sensitive, uh, scared little girl. I mean, that's the that's the thing I actually like about this as well is uh, how this is sort of an origin kind of thingy uh but she's already kind of a badass you know she she's yeah. already she's already adventuring away into mm. and and she's actually interested in all these tombs instead of you know almost getting raped everywhere and 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 stuff yeah. like that i guess and that's like um a trope well, an apparent trope of video games where you know the damsel in distress thing that kind yes. of thing they, you know, they kind of actually combat that where they say well no she actually always was a badass and she always you know wanted yes. to go into all this exploring so yeah it's, it's not as if there was like some change in her which was instigated by this man like yeah. or, or anything yes. like that yes yes yeah. oh, actually yeah i've never actually thought about that but yeah. in a way you know um, i mean their commentary like in the new tomb raider was sort of that you know she's not this one-dimensional character who's just a badass and 
and you know, I mean, she's got her insecurities, she's got her own feelings, she's got blah, 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 and you know, something actually happened to her in that. But I guess in the, in a way, this this game, like this, the original series, was more respectful towards her womanhood in the way that she has always chosen to sort of be this sort of badass instead of letting a man decide that for her by traumatizing her in a way yeah exactly that's like actually it. a very good point mm. ah it's a shame yeah i do i do much prefer like you know them just making her a badass without having to feel as though they have to give her a dimension which you could argue is like because oh she's a woman well, so she has see, to have feelings the thing is like, a dimension is something that the player itself could sort of give her. That's the mm. thing. They have a main character trait for her, which is great. And they have some some dialogue for her, which supports that. But yeah. the thing about playing a game is also that you can impose your own... Um, your own sort of... Yeah, your own... You, you know, what you want her character to be like. You can fill in the gaps yourself instead of constantly... Yeah obnoxiously getting this character like pushed on you all the time through yeah, these yeah. through these cutscenes and and mm. things that you don't have control over yeah you know me verna a regular virtuoso another seriously every bit of dialogue has been sarcastic between these two but yeah oh, bloody hell. i guess they really want to just hammer home the point that yes she's sarcastic and yes he is too and that type of thing i get yeah i think the thing about that was also trying to convey the badassness of her character mm -hmm. sort of that she's yeah. not phased by this stuff that she's yeah. that she's sort of her own her own girl that she's sort of uh uh yeah that she's not letting this guy or or anything around around her sort of you know yeah phase her that she's yeah she, exactly she, she can sort of have a her own confident sarcastic little attitude towards it yeah well, that's good anyway well a shame that they suddenly try to okay i'll shut up <laughs> oh <laughs> Actually, I hope that was important. <laughs> no, it wasn't really. Oh, great. But this, I th I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, oh, this the, is nice. The last... Yeah, yeah, this is great, actually. Actually, mm. what I'm noticing right off the bat here is fog, which I don't remember actually having that in the original version that I used to play. Okay, well, hell. Well, so hell. That, that might be another, you know, extra little addition that... Uh, good old games which is uh, the version that i'm playing you know th they sort of revive old games for newer operating systems and uh you know patch it and everything and um yeah you know so that some uh, some graphical errors are also fixed in that yeah so i guess that's well, another be cool of them if they did that so yeah, well, I, I noticed that for some other games where Fog didn't work originally for a lot of graphics cards, and they fixed oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's actually... Yeah, the, I think this is like the last bit of the uh, actual tutorial level. And, oh. then, after, and then after this, um, there's going to be sort of... He, he's sort of putting your skills to the test, so to say, and you're having a bit of a race to the actual part that he wants to go, like for the treasure that he's here for, and, um, you know, you're sort of racing him to there. Yeah. And moving through... Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck and mo it's always... It always looks a bit weird when she's like... Like when you're... When you're what the hell was that? Oh, what the? Okay. <laughs> oh, but that, yeah, that when was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very elegant. But yeah, w when you like, um, what the hell was I saying? When you push. when you're racing through and uh, jumping and some stuff. Yeah, I guess it looks awkward or something. Oh, no, oh, when you're no, when you're pressing control whilst in mid air, which is kind of like the grab on. Uh, control or whatever 
um, you know, so that she grabs onto ledges. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm actually going to save here quickly. Okay. See, yeah, and then, like, oh. Okay, right, swinging was, right, I've actually got to concentrate on this. What was, what was the swinging button? I think it was. <laughs> ah, there we are. It sounds like you have like a giant manual or something, and you just went <laughs> off to check it. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. I did like to read through the manuals. Like every time I got a new Tomb Raider game, I'd read through it. Like what whatever was new. Although yeah. this was my first Tomb Raider game that I actually owned, and you know, oh he's just walking into the thing there. But yeah, th this was the first Tomb Raider game that I actually owned, and then. Later, I would get like Tomb Raider three, for example. But still, I'd be reading the manual to see what was new. Which is yeah. Kind of, because like every game did sort of have its own control scheme to uh, things. Yeah, that's sometime. true. I mean, I, I just I just loved it. I loved reading game manuals. As stupid as that sounds, I just thought they were cool. So I used to like reading through them. Yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. Like, and they had pictures in them and everything. Uh, I actually hope he's going to do this thing again, which he used to do when I first played this. Um, my dad, yep, he does it. My dad was actually uh, there when I was playing this through for the first time. And I remember walking up to this guy uh, when I was like five years old or something, or six years old. And look at what he's doing. And I was standing here with his hand just like that. Oh, that's perfect. Just, and he was, he was like, ah, he just stopped doing it just now. But yeah, he, he was basically there with his hand in her crotch. <laughs> and, and I was actually, I remember like asking my dad, like, oh, what's he doing there? And my dad went like, oh, just checking if everything's in order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Which some, uh, I, some I, I, I did sort of get it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Wait, yeah, he's actually talking here. Watch your back, old man. I warn you, I'll pull no punches. Oh, wow. She was not being sarcastic for the first time. Which I oh, good. Liked. She said, like, I warn you, old man, I pull no punches. Hmm. Oh, now she's being feisty, you know, the, the next facet of her well, personality. Well, at, at least, you know, feisty's alright. And mm. I'm probably going to fail at this, just to say that, because, you know, I could make up all these excuses, but I do literally have no control over myself when playing this game, you know, when I'm having to be fast. It looks awkward to control, to be honest. Exactly, exactly. And a, yeah. and a shitty thing that he does is he closes that gate if when he goes through that. I, I remember having that. Jesus, we're right on each other's tail here as well. Yeah. And she seems to have difficulty climbing up things sometimes. Like, she'll stop and then wait, which is irritating. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, and kind of an awkward thing right now is... I can't really see my keyboard, uh. so uh, I, I'm actually having to sort of like look up, um, you know, the if I want to sprint, I need to look at the uh, uh, the question mark key, which yeah. I have to use for that, and I don't really, you know, from the way that my hands are positioned right now, you know what I'm saying, right? You yeah, know, yeah, but I know exactly what you're saying, yeah. Uh, how the fuck am I going to get up this as quickly as possible? Oh, well. Hey, oh, no, there you go. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> I, wa I want you to win this one just because I, wa I want to see what happens if you win. I want you to get, like, a big prize well, of some kind. Well, honestly, <laughs> honestly, that is the thing. I've never won this before. Myself. Oh, oh, shit! I pressed oh, no. the walk button in p in instead of the sprint button there. Oh, it's like Gex. <laughs> Okay, I, I I might actually win this now. Yes, I'm there. Yes, I did it. Yes. Okay, so here comes the epic cutscene, which ends the introduction. And so the pupil 
excels the master. I congratulate you on your agility. Take your prize from the plinth. You have earned it. In the time it took you to find your way here, I've examined the inscriptions. It warns of vengeance on those who remove it. Ah, ancient hocus pocus. Forget this nonsense and come over here. I don't count poison darts and triggered entombment, your average child's tea party. <laughs> I feel we should lend this some respect. Ah, and you are the world famous archaeologist adventurer, Lara Well, Croft. there's a lot of animosity no, between no, them, actually. Mm, seemingly so, I can tell by the way that they're... Mouths are moving, yeah. And, <laughs> and the arms are flailing. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, she's basically saying, you know, there's a warning of something bad happening if if he if he steals this, and he just says, pull the fucking lever, and she says, <laughs> on your head be it. <laughs> I I really always liked the way how this opened up. You know, these little these like graphical things they would like really magic back in the day yeah. and how that thing rolls out yeah that's awesome <laughs> and how the orb is sort of bouncing you know, you, yeah you can sort of like see it like with these different layers of it sort of yeah like that yeah. and then it goes wrong obviously <laughs> look at him die oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I found that funny. His leg gets like, how does his leg even get caught there? <laughs> because of his uh, explorer paraphernalia getting caught in the thing. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> he's 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 hanging on by his flags. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, he's getting eaten by the giant clam. <laughs> it's not really a clam at all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hell, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, I, I wasn't fucking recording. Shit. <laughs> I thought you were, but then it, it, it wasn't. It's okay. We're I, back. I, yeah, we're back. Yeah. Okay, yeah.